Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tusk Reaper Gaming. In this episode, we're discussing overpowered classes in Dungeons and Dragons Online. All right, let's go ahead and get into the video. Welcome to Tusk Reaper Gaming. Please like, subscribe, and get notified. So my number five pick is actually going to be the Cleric. But not just any Cleric. Um, you can get by with a standard Cleric build, but I'm talking about Overpower. And I'm talking about the Undead Cleric build that I have. Uh, I'll put the build up up in the uh, top of the corner there so you guys can kind of check it out yourself. Now, I'm gonna. I, I've been going through the Delaire graveyard with this particular character and. Uh, She's doing amazing. Um, she's just level 7 right now. Uh, as you can see, uh, I've got a few bubbles. This is all just the, going through the Delara Graveyard uh, situation. And uh, she's she just does real well. Here's her stats. Just kind of quick little overview of what she's got going on. Now, as she progresses in level... And I get the gear that I really want. Um, she's going to do amazing. See, all of this stuff is just starter stuff. It's just starter gear. Everything's, everything's starter gear for level 7. Now, we're going to go in here and we're going to do some damage. I'm level 7. So, this particular character, I'm going to... You know what? Overpowered, right? This is what we're talking about. So we're going to go in at a level 9 dungeon on hard with just... I got... I'll be honest. I got crap gear. Um, I'm not going to do anything fancy. I'm just going in. Um, and we're going we're gonna to make this happen. We're going to see how good this build really is. I hope traps don't kill me. Hope they're... I don't know. Oh, there we go. That's going to be about the only thing that's going to... May get me is the traps. But we'll go and go ahead and throw on some buffs. <laughs> Try to give myself a little bit of protection. Here we go. 15 turns. I'm just gonna take this nice and slow. You know, just go on over here. See if I can get two of them out of the way. There we go. And we'll, uh. So, other than a couple of, uh. Skeleton. Um. Archers, or. Arcus. They're kind of like a little bit of a special undead. That's one of the things um, in Dungeons and Dragons Online that um, you have to be kind of uh, kind of understand, I guess, is that the undead, if it has a special name, if it's just not a skeleton, then it's not a standard skeleton. It's technically, if you want to get technical, it's a special which is on the higher ups of the undead chart. Um, but let's see here. Yeah, easy peasy. A little heal. See, so because I had less undead, I was able just to uh, disintegrate them, no problem. The more undead, the more hit dice per undead, basically, it is. So, that's about what you have to worry about. And, uh, so this is really turning out to be pretty easy. Um, just have to kind of manage the amount of turns I have. If I'm able to recover some turns, which I believe this build... Uh, may give us that. 
That was pretty good. All right, my number four pick for Dungeons and Dragons Online class that is one of the more powerful ones. It was it was a tough decision, guys. It really was. I was debating between the Druid and the Wizard. I'll have to go with the Wizard because if spec right with the right equipment, you can be very devastating and have a very very strong strong survivability chance if played right they are difficult to play you have to watch yourself and you have to be careful uh, because of the advanced nature of the wizard is why it is number four if it was easier to play it may be able to squeeze one of the others out in the number three spot in my opinion but no more all right, guys, so my number three pick for Overpowered and Dungeons Dragons Online is the Bard. The Bard is an amazing class to play. They have tons of spells uh, available to them, and uh, they, they can have tons of uh, really cool enhancements. Right now, I'm set up as a swashbuckler, um, and we're going to give this... A little bit of a try we are in the cultist space this is a level 21 dungeon we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves a little bit of full buff and then we're going to uh, get in here and see what kind of trouble we can actually get into there we go going to the show all right make sure that's activated wash buckling all right Hey, what's up? We're here to cause some trouble. And, uh... Yeah, definitely... Definitely fun. Still got plus 47 hit points. Let's see how well my poison does on those dogs. Probably not all that great. It does great against human foes. Yep, yep, freezing them. So that's good. You know, it's it's good to be able to uh, freeze your foes that way. Um, you can uh, really concentrate on... Uh, all right. Okay, you can save your spells, buddy. All right. <laughs> okay, so we'll go on up here and we'll take care of a little bit more business. And it, it makes it so it's not all that bad. Now, this particular bard I have, yes, uh, she's level 20. Um, however, I don't have her geared very well. Um, she needs she needs a lot of stuff, really. But the best thing I have on her is the sword, for the most part. And, uh, you know, but as far as that goes, I don't know. She's doing real well, all in all. So that is really the main reason for my pick. Tons of spells. Uh, as you can see, the stats are kind of actually low for a level 20. Um, the, uh, the feats are just, you know, pretty much your standard ones. Um, and uh, nothing out of the ordinary. This is just a standard setup standard play don't have anything fancy um but uh in any event uh that is my number three pick all right my number two pick for one of the most powerful classes in dungeons and dragons online is the paladin as we'll see the paladin here has massive capabilities uh this particular build is a drow build uh, if you want a more powerful paladin you'll concentrate more on constitution and charisma as we can see here the uh paladin has quite a few spells you know uh not as many as any other spell class 
uh, because they're technically a melee class. They're not really a spell class. All right, so we are in the Spinner's Prison with the Paladin. Just gonna throw on a couple of buffs. Don't have to have a whole lot with the Paladin. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, see what kind of trouble we can get into. Dragon shots. Well, oh, wait a minute. Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? I know you're around here somewhere. Oh, you're hiding. There we go. Yeah, not too bad. Definitely the uh, the Paladin is really one of the uh, most Ionic type uh, characters that strange glowing that you can have and make and they're they're just really renowned for their capabilities always have been and uh you know they're very fun to play they're very enjoyable to play survivability is extreme high um it's it's only if you happen to get into uh things you really shouldn't be into or you don't have the gear to be in there. Um, you have saved the but uh, from its attackers. It flickers in a strange But in any event, the spinner of definitely struggles against her weakening bombs. The paladin her, is a strong number two. Alright, guys. So my number one pick for the most overpowered class in Dungeons and Dragons online is the artificer and my reasons why is one they can open locks open doors uh, you know the they can disarm traps unlock those chests that you know only uh, certain thieves can do um, they are like a high-level thief with the high exception marksmanship of a ranger using a repeating crossbow now you can have them set up for melee but the most powerful and overpowered artificers are going to be the ones using ranged heavy repeating or light repeating crossbows and a well-suited rune arm all right guys so let's go ahead and check out what i can do against these giants and have a little fun i haven't done this dungeon with this character yet um would have been great to do it on hard or elite, but you know, we're gonna get in here. We're just gonna throw on a couple of uh, minor um, items, just some fire, and uh, we should be able to uh, mess them up pretty good. So, yeah, this artificer, uh, she's only level 11. She's got some pretty decent gear. I went through the Night Revels, and uh, she she got pretty set up. So definitely just very fun to play. Fire Giant. Now, if I had like a, a, a cold, you know, or glacial uh, repeating crossbow, the fire giants, you would just, you just, I mean, I'm doing real well against them now, but there'd just be no, no issues. I mean, that was just, just insane. Now, these are the same level that I am, uh, but. Yeah, buff all you want, you'll die while you're buffing. And uh, back in there is the uh, restaurant that I most likely will not need. Alright. 
There we go. We'll just do some major ranging. Not worry about those hill giants. They're the fire giants that uh, could pose an issue. They'll hit harder. They're a little tougher. There we go. I think that does those guys. Now these guys will range. Champion. Maybe I do shooting from this crack. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. If you can keep your distance with this character, you're going to decimate anything in your path. Alright, so we'll just come down here. Come on, big boy. Buff. Buff. And dead. Buff. Buff. And so, guys, this is just using the crossbow. That's it. Here are my stats. Uh, my stats are pretty even between intelligence and dex because I wanted to be able to open locks, find secret doors, all kinds of great stuff at the higher levels. And like I said, I'm only level 11. I don't even have my pet out. Didn't even bring my pet out. Didn't even do that. So let's, let's see what my rewards are. Uh, garbage but you can get some really good rewards in this uh, particular uh, dungeon if uh, you're on elite I used to roll with a wizard on elite in here and that's a little bit more challenging but we're gonna we're gonna see what uh, if there's another chest over here there weren't any uh, big bosses so and no so no extra chests that is it all right guys so as far as that goes the the artificer you know level 11 i have all these great spells uh my go-to is usually the flame turret um be really cool if uh we had some some more like ice type stuff that uh, would be more applicable against fire creatures, but you know, you could balance that out with a proper uh, ranged weapon of your choosing. Now, a melee artificer isn't going to be as good as a uh, one using a repeating crossbow. So keep that in mind. This particular build, that's what um, I'm using and that's what we've got and just a little overview of where my skills are at by far this is my most favorite uh class ever all right guys thanks for tuning in we really appreciate it give this video a thumbs up a like and please refer it to a friend if you think they could benefit or they'd enjoy this content as well all right, we'll catch you next time. Thank you for watching Tusk Reaper Game. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.